We're starting live and exclusive on 100.7 Highlands FM from 11.30. We'll be covering the under-18s, ball by ball, and then we'll be gearing up for the seniors as well. And for those people who love uh, Karen uh, Thornton's uh, uh, straight-up Elvis on the Saturdays uh, before the uh, sports wrap replay, uh, you can remember you can catch up with uh, Karen Thornton on Tuesdays at 4 p.m. And so next Saturday, Karen's uh, program won't be on, but uh, you can catch up with her in the following Tuesday at 4 p.m. on 100. Point seven Harlands FM with her great work on Elvis Presley. Over to Chris Jr. Thanks very much, Johnny. Sam, you want to stick around, mate? For the oh, for sure. Then we'll have, uh, we'll have a third member of the team here on Highlands FM rocking the RDFNL in the Rangers. And, of course, Sammy has uh, expressed some interest in doing some special comments. So he and Dougie will uh, team up for the very first time here today. So you guys are going to have some fun here in this second half. as a secondary ball up. The ball dished out now to the Cats. They're kicking to the right of it. Dial out to, as the Tigers head to the left. Preston on hands and knees. Couldn't quite gather the ball there at half forward. Seth for the Cats. Sends the ball long up towards a uh, teammate there. I think that was Arnold. And we'll see a bad return on left forward pocket. It's the Cats 3523. Train Lanceville at 61046 Highlands FM are rocking the RDFNL in the Rangers. A very important game for both clubs. Uh, yeah, well, it is do or die. This result of this game could impend on uh, who makes a finals berth as uh, rucks go up. Fulton wins it down to Seth though for the Cats. He has a snap through for a minor score but uh, the signs are positive and ominous. The Cats are looking to start on the right foot. Yes, Seb Yost didn't hook it around sufficiently, did he? Unfortunately not on that, uh, that occasion there. Seth, very good player. The Cats, that is his second minor score. And the, uh, the opening minute to reduce the margin back to 22 points as the ball out is at on the outer side. The Bowden, a right foot kick up towards uh, Rebecca there at half back. He's trying to work hard. Rebecca out uh, there is uh, Riley Kindred gathers the ball. A good right foot kick spots up Dale Joseph right in front of the scoreboard. That uh, uh, reads uh, not a good tale if you're a Cats fan as the ball's putt long, centre wing out of side. And uh, Bullock takes a really good mark. And a bit of stop start footy so far. Possession footy as the ball comes out of bounds. We'll see a boundary throw in out of side. And in fact, is that out of bounds on the full, Johnny? I think there's a free kick involved. Yeah, so it is out of bounds on the full. Sorry about that. Of, well, the ball is way out on the outer side. It'll go to the Cats. To Tommy Hildebrand goes by right foot now to, to Trotter. Now there's got to be someone at centre half forward. No, he probably does the shortest kick of his Macedon senior career as the Cats maintain possession. Sykes looking for a target inside the forward 50. Malatek just over his head hmm. and a uh, good mark taken in by Conway. Yes, he, uh, he, he, his judgment was very good. There's it for, for Malatek. Uh, he's up against the former captain of the Lansfield Football Club. How's that for an honour? Yes. As the ball comes out to Chris Burkett here on centre wing. He's got plenty of pace there on Davies. He sidesteps him, caresses the ball up towards the middle of the ground now. It's a top contest there, Chris Burkett and uh, uh, J Jason Davies uh, there in a one-on-one. -on -one. Well, the brothers certainly knew how to find themselves there as Matt Burkett pumped it long and uh, Clint Burgess there for the Cats. Defensive 50, Mark Strongly looks to go towards the uh, Indian rubber man or Mr. Durable in Crispin, of course, yes. up towards centre wing to right. Yes. Hopefully we'll see him next Saturday afternoon in the RDFNL Colours. As he plays on now, side steps his opponent there in Morgan. Up towards centre half forward and Malatik just threw his legs there. Still an opportunity for Seth. He overruns it to Chris Burkett out towards his brother yeah. who's dispossessed. And uh, Sammy. No, that was a fair call there. Uh, Seb's gone straight over the head. I agree. It was, it was, I agree with you entirely. The two youngsters there. There's Max Swindles. He's sensible. Actually. A free kick's been paid for a hold. It'll go further down the field. And Lyndon Thompson, who took the mark anyway, he's going to go and put the Tigers, uh, uh, well, in front by the uh, 23 or 28 points. And, of course, you've just been talking about James Wright and uh, uh, Chris Burtett is interleague, in their interleague squad, and as is uh, Josh Clough and uh, the three of them. And it's possible they could be in the final squad, which will be selected uh, this week. As Lyndon Thompson goes, bang, yes he does. The Tigers are up and about here on Highlands FM. They've extended their lead now to 7-10-52 to 3-6-24. And the Tigers have kicked the last five of this contest, stretching back to the second term. 
I'm very, very impressed today. The way at times Lansford were able to move the ball from out of defence down to their forward line, and it's uh, good to see when they finish it off. They had many opportunities in the first quarter, uh, Chris and uh, Sammy, but uh, the scoreboard tells a tale, doesn't it? Uh, 6-10. Well, yes, uh, well, se se seven, seven, ten, ten, sorry. Yep, so that's, uh, that's, that is a game high, 28 points, Sammy. Can they get back in the contest here, the Cats? Uh, look, I don't know. I'd, compared to how they played last week, um, at this point I'm going to say no, but you never know. Things can happen in football, and it's only the uh, third quarter, so... Well, speaking of uh, the opposition from last week, Romsey 15-10, 100 lead by 80 points against Gilmore, 3-2-20. Yes. Well, we're well, stand outside this year, Romsey, we all realise that, and uh, while Riddle are at the top of the ladder, I think that uh, Romsey would recognise, uh, uh, Riddle would recognise that Romsey's a big threat this year. Well, maybe Diggers Rest uh, also got a little bit of worries at the moment. They lead Rockbank by a kick over at Diggers Rest in a close game over there as we've got a free kick for a hold, and it'll go to Crispin. <laughs> Who we, well, we just call him Iron Man or the uh, the Incredible Hulk, whichever way you go it, he is unbelievable with his uh, ability to with, withstand a lot of pressure. It's the Tigers, they've withstood a bit of pressure there and the ball comes out towards Matt Swindles there on halfback, perhaps a Highlands FM hang yes. contender. They're going to play possession football, Chris, that's why he didn't want to get rid of the ball too quickly. There was no one manning up for him until someone dropped in shorter. Up towards Collins, the captain here of the Tigers. Spots the ball up to, uh, to centre wing. The vacant space there. Jordy Kindred, ball one, blind side of the umpire, frees up Nick Arnold. Good to see some of the young guns here on Hans FM footy. Long up towards his captain. He'll love that. Yes, that Jimmy good. Wright. Yes, good. Oh, well, he was able to land it over the uh, Lansfield opponent and into space uh, for uh, the skipper to run on to. Well, Sammy, if there's a captain's goal, this is it, mate. This is it, yes. And uh, just for the uh, viewers around uh, the oval, Wayne Saunders has come off with an injury. Looks like a groin injury at the moment. OK, thanks, Sammy. Well, a bit of experience out of the way there. Unfortunately, there for the Cats as Wright goes bang and kicks his first of the day and this won't be over and done with because there's a bit going on and a free kick will go at centre half forward Sammy we, did either of us see that? I did not this is a lack of discipline uh, there was a, a, a consultation going on oh yep and then bit the push and shove and the, as a result it's led to uh, well it's led to Trotter having a shot at goal he pulls it away to the left almost oh, a seven point play without the ball going into the centre there's much about discipline in our game, isn't there, fellas? That's mm -hmm. exactly right. And the umpires, if they note it's uh, not good discipline, you know, they're well, uh, not, not disciplined, they can get onto it very quickly. Exactly. Well, that shot there from Trotter, if it had have gone through, that probably would have given the tie, uh, the, the Cats some, a spark here. But now the score, 4 7 31 to 7 10 52. Remember, there were three goals kicked in the first term, and. Uh, well, there's been a few scoring shots here. Seven minutes gone in this third term. As the ball goes out towards half forward, Crispin again. He is an absolute star. Speaking of stars, right. And he finds, I think, Johnson, who spots up, or tried to spot up uh, Sykes, and his opposite, uh, opposite number of Ruckman there in Wilcott got in the way. As he spots up uh, Chris Burke. Yeah, been a dangerous player. I noticed Josh, Josh Clough is nearby. I just wonder whether Jeff has uh, swung Josh out of the midfield. And... Um, watching uh, Chris Burkett. And a free kick for a hole here on centre yeah, wing. That, that, that was in. I, I watched that the whole time. That was clearly in it. Hamish Miles was uh, holding the uh, opposition there. Good work there, guys. The ball heads up towards our centre half forward to Conway. Right foot kick. Which way is it going to bounce there for the Tigers? Burgess, he arches the back against Thompson now. He switches it across to Johnson. He's got a panic. Yes. He purchased the whole entire wing of the Tony Clark Reserve. He could probably run up in the middle of the ground. He's looking for Christensen. A cheeky right foot kick now. Look, looking for uh, to Gurnan, who was flat footed. And it costs them as a free kick. We're in the back and they'll take the advantage. Advantage. Rebecca, he will almost pull the trigger now. He'll try to find Thompson inside the forward 50, or it might just bounce through for a minor score. It is a rash behind a frenetic football being played here with uh, Tony Clark. Yes, there's a lot of things about uh, bringing the ball out of your defence in terms of uh, you know running the ball out and also making sure the disposal is good, whether it's hand pass or foot pass. But the players have got to be on the move as well as a, a good hand, getting a, a, a good hand pass to the player. Oh, just ticked on eight minutes, third term. 
53 to 31, 22 points of margin. Here's Goodwin here for the Cats up towards centre half forward. Riley Kindred gets in the way. Yes, but uh, I can see that uh, uh, Chris Preston is a bit upset with his teammate there. He didn't uh, deliver it where Chris wanted it. Well, he might get a chance here as Lynch takes the ball. Chris on his own again here. He might find the mark. Yeah. Yes! He, he, he'll be saying thank you, and this is what he was hoping earlier. So it's come back. Well, he's relied on the with. targets, that, or his Tigers' opponents, to cause a turnover. Mm -hmm. Probably just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> Here's a chance for Preston. The kick his first goal back in senior club colours here at Macedon. Of course, he played at East Sunbury last year. Dougie was used yes. to 30 goal drummings. Yes. And here he is. Oh, he didn't get used to. Oh, yeah, he wouldn't have loved it one bit. Yeah. He has a shot of goal and he's got it. Yes, good. Here so come the Cats. Back to back goals here on Highlands yeah. FM 5 7 37 to 7 11 53. Douglas. Players getting around him and, uh, you know, welcome back. You're with us again. And as you said uh, earlier on in the day, uh, we were at a match where he kicked six good goals. You know, that was uh, what a couple of seasons ago, I think. By now, how's our right. memory? My memory. Hmm. Here on Highlands FM, rocking the Rangers footy, Sammy, some brilliant passage of play, just taking the game on there. The Cats. They are definitely are. Uh, they are. Uh, they may, as I said before, it could be either way. But I reckon the Cats now uh, have a chance to uh, come back after that that brilliant goal. Well, back to back goals, quick around the grounds in the RDFNL Rock Pack 9 4 58 lead. That's right, lead Diggers Rest 7 10 52. They've kicked the last five goals, the, or six goals, the Brams. As it's, the Cats, they're looking to kick three in a row as they push the ball up towards centre half forward. Shark there by Rebecca, kick around the body up towards Thun Miller. Goes to Chris Burkett, centre wing commentary side. Right foot kick up towards half forward. In front of Malone and Kernan. Bang! Big contest between the two. Picked off there by Matt Swindles. Back to Malone here for the Tigers. Tries to take on right. Back to Swindles now. 58 metres, or 52 metres out from goal. Big contest here. Slips out to Catton. Will it bounce? Will it goal? Neither. Minus score. Some uh, good work there by uh, Matty Swindles. Well, uh, just a good work by Malone as well, yes. the other two. Matt was just out of position. Luke was uh, doing good work in there, no doubt about that. But, uh, Matty was just a little out of position, but he got, uh, got back into position very well. And how's the hairstyle on Catton as well? Short on the sides, long on the top, and really short. It's bald on the sides. Back to the 80s as the ball comes out towards South Centre Ring. Yes. That's Fleming Marks. He loops it up towards Crispin. Ba just bounce, doesn't bounce in his favour. Favours Chris Burkett. Shovels it out towards Matt Burkett. That is holding the ball, Sammy. Yes. Good call, there. Good call. Yes. Crispin up towards centre half forward. Oh. Now Presto should go back and wind up and kick a six pointer. He does wind up. He does get it on the boot properly, Chris. It's an old fashioned mongrel. Mm -hmm. Oh. He hurried it too much. He had the opportunity there. Well, out of bounds, boundary throw in 15 metres out from the Cats goal, 5 7 37 7 12 54. Again, re repeating, the Rams lead the Burrows by six points. And the Rock Bank, it's a tight game over there. It is. A massive game over there as uh, Pack starts to form. Shovel out now towards the Cats. Almost thrown out there. I think that might have been to Rebecca or well, either way the Tigers as they look to move it across from Riley Kindred up towards centre half. Back comes off hands now. Big, big contest. Handball there from Matt Swindles out to Malone. Kick up towards and finding Jordan Kindred. 70 metres out from goal, out of side, 17 points the margin, as uh, 12 minutes gone, third term, over the head of Ash Fleming there for the Cats, his opposite number there in number nine there in Catton, handball intercepted there, and now the Cats through, uh, through Sanders, kick up towards centre wing, big spoil there from Kindred, very big spoil, managed to bring the ball to ground, but Kindred, uh, sorry, Kernan, he's wrapped up, umpire ball up centre wing, out of side, just left to centre, 7-12, 54-5, 7-37, Just to stress how important this round is, uh, it's interesting to note that Diggers Rest, Lansfield, Rockbank and Macedon and Melton Centrals all have two games, each, won two games each, so it's very important for the winner of this game to get those four points, the others just have to, the, other, the loser has to drop back a bit. Oh, and of course, uh, not all the teams have had the buy as well, and the buy, buy adds four points at this stage of the season. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, with the interleague next week, the all, all the players not playing will have a rest next week. Just hope Matt Davidson gets a Guernsey, and uh, Brad Fisher plays for Alberton, former Carlton forward. 
into line for selection down there as the ball heads inside the forward line there for the Tigers. Burgess there from the catch. He looks to clear across half back over the head of Crispin into the arms there of Kindred. The Sharks off Crispin. Kick up towards centre half forward now. It misses him. It finds Johnson. He tries to take on a couple. Good off. He is G A W N. Just got the kick away. Did he ever? Oh, it's by the skin of his yeah. teeth. Big contest here in the middle of the ground. Up there, the cricket pitch. Bang. So, Trotter goes down. In fact, a free kick. And it'll go to the Tigers. They lead by 17 points. He's talking about uh, buys and so on. Uh, Romsey have a buy after the league, and they don't play again until about over the first or second week of June. Yeah, they've got uh, got a few weeks off, which they'll enjoy. It's a 50-meter penalty. Sammy, you're all over that, mate. Yeah, b a bit of confusion there by uh, Johnston. He uh, free kick was paid towards um, the I can't remember who it was, but it was paid towards his teammate, and Johnston didn't know who to hand it to, and umpire. <laughs> Uh, Steed is paid uh, 50. Yeah, and Matt's still pleading his case with the umpire. Well, haven't heard an umpire change his mind, Sammy. I don't know about you, but haven't done it in uh, haven't done it in mine. Eight years as an umpire. There's Miles across uh, half back, I think. Uh, yep, that is Miles. Uh, spots up a teammate on the outer side there for the Cats. He runs off his line. Right foot kick though. Lynch it just. Hits his shin and ricochets out to a teammate there in Arnold. A very unorthodox kicking style, but effective nonetheless. Out towards Christensen by hand, a long centre wing. Out towards Kindred of the Riley variety. He's had plenty of it. Yes, uh, yes Lansfield, we got uh, a man behind the, the, the ball. A couple of them, actually. As Kindred spotted up his cousin there in Jordan. Now the ball inside the forward 50 there. It's a two-on-one. It'll favour the Cats. And they should recover here. Hickenbotham, handball over the top now. He's got Kernan. He sped it before he had it. Recovered well in time as his team trailed by 17 points. He spots up Johnson, who marks well. This has been a live wire, Matty Johnston, today, hasn't he? Oh, he's come to life here in this uh, second half. We've just ticked on 15 minutes in this term. Clough was uh, had the arms chopped right in front of us. Yes, Matty Burkett uh, trying to prevent uh, Josh Clough taking a clean mark. Davies couldn't quite take the mark. Brought his te uh, position teammate to, to the ground now as Sanders comes through. Good right. to see Wayne Sanders on the ground again. Very important to Masson and gives a bit of bulk. He's recovered well as Malatek couldn't quite take the mark there at centre half forward there for the Cats as the Tigers look to, to, to cause uh, to, to push forward now. Plenty of cats around this one. Right goes back to Arnold. Spots up Hamish Miles very well up towards half forward. Couldn't quite find a teammate. Just kicked it a little bit yes. too low. Umpire said play on. Yes. We'll ball it up 45 metres out from goal. Ran the grounds in the AFL. Melbourne 9 6 60 lead the Tigers 6 15 51. 6 15. Yep. 15 scoring shots to 21. Nine points the difference. Yep. Melbourne's favour. Big game at the MCG. And what stage of the game did you say it was, Chris? Uh, 27 minutes into the, uh, the third term. Third term, yes. It started early, the game, didn't it? Yep. The little one o'clock starters. We had a bit of a ball up, and Davies off a standing step. Kicks him on a score. The first one in a little while. Masson 5 8 38. Still trail. Lancelot 7 12 54. For the people who follow the AFL, uh, it's not easy to pick up what time the games are starting these days <laughs> and what stage the game's at. Yeah, that's right. They're all, <laughs> all, all, all over the place. <laughs> Confusion galore. Uh, but uh, that suits the television people. That's part of the contract. Uh, yes, that's right. Uh, yep. Yes. You've got uh, you've got Dougie, Johnny, and Yenny here on Islands FM covering the second half. And uh, Kitan, 12-7-79 currently. Castlemaine 6-5-41. As the ball ricochets off there from Famous Lynch. We'll see a band throwing there for the Cats right in front of the Tigers' dugout. Good to see a lot of endeavour by both all the players out there on the field. Hockley contested balls, a lot of pressure, and uh, well done to all the players for keeping their eyes on the ball, being competitive and playing within the rules and trying to win the game for their, the ball for the club. Rucks go up, Arnold brought to ground, just slipped out the back there for the uh, the Tigers, picked up there by Matt Swindles, concedes ground to Bowden. Right foot kick up towards yes. half back yes, down the field. Late. Yes, Christian was a bit late, wasn't he? That's right, yep, certainly all over that. Uh, as a free kick's been awarded down the field to, uh, to Matt Burkett, who's, uh, who's teamed up with his brother quite well today. As, Scott, as Matt Swindles couldn't quite take the mark here on centre wing, Tom Hildebrand puts his head over the ball out towards the crow back. Oh. Todd Grabak goes by hand out to Sykes, just come on the ground for, uh, for I think for Hickenbotham. Ball up towards half forward. The Tigers now with some numbers. As uh, to, uh, as I think it, that's uh, 
the Quebec that's down there for the uh, the Cats. We'll keep an eye on that one. Matt Burkett up towards centre half forward, and he finds a teammate there in Jack Waldron. Long way out. Yep. Uh, oh, yep. Wolf. Not not uh, Steve Wiley. It's Quebec. As uh, as Chris uh, Chris Collins wheels around on that right foot, kicks around the body. Couldn't quite find, quite find the teammate there. As the Cats now through right. Through uh, Sanders now, left foot kick up towards a half back out of sight. His team trail by 16 points here. The Tigers applying some great pressure. Sanders back to Hildebrand. Right foot kick towards Sykes. No, it's stolen there from Bullock. Now can he go long? He's got Thompson. He's saying, kick it to me, son. He does. Up I said, play on. No infringement there. And uh, Burgess, he's wrapped up, almost brought to ground there and uh, illegally. But umpire said it's all fair in love and war. As uh, is right through the outer side there for the Cats. Finds a teammate, he's Christensen. He's barking instructions. It's not happening, but they settle. Jones right was in Dibbley there. He had no one to kick the ball to. He could have just kicked for the boundary. Well, that's exactly what Fleming did. Yes. Unintentionally, of course, boundary throw in. And we've just ticked on 20 minutes. It's 5, 8, 38 to Lansfield, 7, 12, 54, And 7. then, of course, these days, as both you as umpires would know, you've got to be very careful with that kick, haven't you, to, the, to touch to the boundary line. Otherwise, yes, how the umpire's right. judging it? Was it deliberate or was it just finesse in running it around the boundary? Yes, that's he, correct. He had no, no teammate to kick it to. Well, speaking of somebody not needing a teammate to kick that to, it was Chris <laughs> Collins and he went bang straight through the six points. And they extend their lead now to Tigers. 8 12 60 to 5. 8 38, 22 points the margin. 20 and a half minutes gone, third term. So now there's a good captain's goal, if you don't mind, as the wind starts to, to pick up here on Highlands FM. And uh, Cloth has uh, just come off the field holding his arm, so he may have a uh, serious injury there after a hard knock. Well, we'll check with him at three quarter time about, the, about his progress there. Fingers crossed he's okay. But uh, some big, big hits. And of course the injury toll did take its effect. Lee Lug, who started off the game strongly there for the Tigers, off the ground with a hamstring injury as the ball goes up towards centre half forward. It's Rebecca now for the Tigers. Out towards Riley Kindred. Handball over the top. Turn the ball over. There is some uh, good numbers here. Yes, not the, the best side. decision. Not the best decision. I mean, with the handball I'm talking about. There's the ball up inside the forward 50 out towards Preston. Numbers here for the Cats. Shuffled out there towards Seth. He couldn't quite trap the ball there, although he laid the tackle really well on Fulton. We will see a ball up 45 metres out from goal. Yes, Fulton was very fortunate then. It looked like he was going to be dropping the ball, but he just got his fist to it. It was yep. coming down. <laughs> Tigers by 22 points. Crispin breaks through. Couldn't quite get the kick away right at the death knock. And it's, uh, I think that might be Matt or Scott Swindles. Not too sure. Kick up towards uh, Trotter here at uh, commentary side. To, the, uh, to Fleming. Goes by hand now to Trotter. Six to the right foot up towards half forward. Matt Swindles goes up. Fortunately, back brings it down to the ground to go to Goodwin, who spots up Johnson. Hits the ground running. 55 metres out from goal towards Lynch. Big hit. Here in the right, in the left forward pocket, gathered there by Morgan. Concedes ground now to Fulton, out to uh, to Kindred of the Riley variety, and he well, finds Conway. Well played, uh, Lansfield, in getting it out of that uh, last line of defence. Well, it's possession footy, although Miles intercepts in front of the scoreboard. Left foot kick up to the hot spot. That's where you want it if you're a Cats fan. And Johnson takes a good courageous mark there, yes, Sammy. Yes, he did. It's around the grounds in the RDFNL. Diggers rest. They've kicked away now with the last uh, five goals of this one, I think. 12, 10, 82 to 9, 4, 58 by four goals. This has been uh, thrusts of goals down there. A bag of goals. They get behind by three or four goals. They get even and then three or four goals in front. It's uh, interesting how the run of the game there. I feel sorry for our friends at OKR FM. Romsey lead Kilmore by 119 points in the third term. Yes, yes. and what stage of the third term? Getting towards... Yeah, probably yes. three-quarter yes. time. Yes. As Johnson, he lets the Tigers off the hook with a minus score. 1-1 for him today. It's 5-9-39 to 8-12-60. So, to the, uh, the silence of the crowd... 23 minutes gone. Yes, Kilmore and Broadford are uh, having difficulties over there this year, aren't they? And uh, Kilmore for the last season or two, but uh, Broadford were up here a bit last year with Barry Hall available. Well, we'll talk about that. There's some big news coming out. Uh, we'll talk about that uh, later on. 
as at uh, perhaps three-quarter time as the ball now at centre half forward there for the Cats but the Tigers gain possession holding the ball play on advantage Seamus Lynch cover yourself in glory that's the goal they needed here on Harlan's FM 6945 Macedon to uh, Lansfield 81260 and I think that's the closest that the uh, the Cats have got since uh, since about the uh, nine minute mark of the, the uh, second term. I'm missing a goal ki uh, kicker uh, for Macedon, uh, Chris. I've got one for James Wright, one for Matty Johnston, one for Jack Kernan, one for Seamus Lynch and uh, one for Daniel Trotter. Uh, then you, have you got Chris Preston? Chris Preston, that was the one that he got. Why would I overlook that one? Goal. Yes, a good goal. <laughs> That's right. 15 points to margin. Can they keep the momentum going? They've kicked two of, well, it's, it's been a bit of goal for goal here in this term, as we'll see a ball up just left of centre. And uh, Lansfield's goal kickers, uh, Lyndon Thompson's uh, kick three and one apiece to Matty Bowden, uh, Lee Lugg, uh, Jackie Waldron, uh, Chris Collins, and uh, Scotty Swindles and uh, John Morgan. Well, was it three quarter time, Chris? Oh, it is three quarter time. Don't miss a single bit of this one here. It's uh, we've got a big last term. Macedon 6945 trailing Lansfield 81260 at home. This is going to be the close one of the afternoon. We feel it. Stay tuned. We've got Dougie uh, Sally Yendi here right after this break. Yes, Macedon uh, 6 nine. time and it's Lansfield 81260 lead Macedon 6945. I know Douglas isn't here, Sammy, but um, big conversation points happening this week. It is official. The Broadford Football Netball Club are on the move. Oh, where are they going now? Uh, well, I think they've put in an application to, uh, I think, to the Seymour, Comp Seymour League or uh, Heathcote. But, uh, it's, uh, but it's funny, we've got, um, we've got Broadford looking to, to come out. And we've got the Sunbury Lions who are looking to maybe come in. Oh, wow. So, so let's so, let, let uh, the conversation happen. That is um, very interesting times ahead there, Sammy. A loss and a win for the RBFL. Yeah, that's right. Uh, as Dougie, we just, we just spoke about. Excellent. Excellent. Good work there, Dougie. We were just talking about uh, Broadford have officially put their application in to leave the competition. And the Sunbury Lions have, may have expressed an application to come into this competition here on 100.7 Holds FM, or uh, RDFNL in particular. It's the Cats to the left, Tigers to your right, ball up to start the term. Now I've got uh, just an appropriate time when we get the scores for netball. Next break of play to Douglas as Chris Collins booms the ball along up towards centre half forward on the bounce, dribbles inside the forward 50 and goes on its end. Snap here from uh, from Scott Swindle. It's up and under. It might bring rain. It heads out towards the right four pocket, still in the field of play. I think that might be Thompson. Spots up a teammate there. Oh, what a kick. Joy Kindred, just as easy as you like. The crowd get vocal here. It's Jordan Kindred. Oh yes. And how? It's his first for the day. Yep. Uh, I've just got some, uh, well, you, you give the score Chris, I've got a couple of netball scores. Yep. Uh, Thanks mate, it's, it's a margin out to 21 points, it is 9, 12, 66 to 6, 9, 45. Right. Now in the A grade, uh, Lancefield had a win. Uh, Lancefield uh, 49 to uh, 41. Uh, uh, the uh, that, uh, sorry, I, 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 that's an upside, it was 59 to 51. Uh, Lansfield 59 to uh, Macedon 51, yes. Uh, in the B grade, uh, Lansfield 47 to Macedon 17. In the C grade, Macedon 37 to Lansfield 13. And uh, in the under 18s, uh, Macedon 40 to Lansfield 9. Sensational work there, Douglas, as the ball heads out towards the outer side in front of Malone. We'll see a boundary throw in. Tigers by 21 points. Quick around the grounds in the RDFNL and the Rupo are kicking away 10 9 69 to Wallen 6 6 42. Diggers rest 14 11 95. Kicking away now 9 5 40. Uh, 9 4 58 by 37 points over there. Yes, and the, the significance in the A grade of uh, Lansfield defeating uh, Macedon is that uh, in the uh, ladder at the present time, Macedon is sitting up there uh, in second place and uh, Lansfield are down uh, out of the top six. So uh, they're, they're into the top six. Now. Massive, massive upset as we see another ball up. A few stoppages here which might favour the Tigers there, Sammy. Yes. 
<laughs> sorry, Chris. I was too busy concentrating on the game and wasn't wasn't listening to you. Sorry, mate. That's all right, mate. I do it all the time. <laughs> and Sykes there for the Cats. Handball over the top in hope. Unfortunately, and it did find Crispin there in the end there for the Cats. And as usual, one of their big standouts here. Ball up towards our left half forward, Conway. Sidestep traffic. Underground handball there to Bowden. Boundary throw in. And quick around the grounds again, Riddle, 15-10-100 lead Broadford, 3-4-22 by uh, 78 points, which isn't that bad, Dougie, considering how bad it was getting there early. Exactly. As Rux will get ready to go up, and meanwhile, still Romsey by 119 over Kilmore. In a big game over there. Ball 52 and a half metres out from goal. We'll see another ball up, Cats attacking end. Come on, Cats! We're all waiting here in anticipation of what the next chapter will bring in this big clash at the three minute mark. It's 21 points to the margin. Crispin again. He's wrapped up straight away by Fulton. Ball up. Uh, in the Bendigo Football Netball League, uh, two undefeated sides are meeting today. I think they were six, six love, weren't they? And uh, that's uh, Sandhurst and, uh, and uh, uh, Gisborne. You wouldn't know, Doug. But but you wouldn't know when you look at the score. It's 9 16 70. Sandhurst to Gisborne, 1 2 8. 62 it's point bouncing. Both are at, top, at the top of the ladder, undefeated sides. Well, it's a big game over there as uh, Wright kicks the ball inside the forward 50. As uh, Lynch overruns it, umpire says play on, didn't go the metre each foot. He's tackled and carried over the line, 30 metres out from goal. But yes, 62 points is the margin over there, over at uh, the Queen Elizabeth Oval, the QEO. Yes, and uh, Stratfield say continuing on their winning run. 51 points of margin over there. It's 21 points of margin here as Bowden wrapped up 20 metres out from goal. It's Macedon 7-9 to, uh, to Lansfield, 9-12-66. And of course for those uh, under 18s and uh, players who have uh, finished their uh, season in the uh, netball and uh, the... Uh, uh, in the football, well, they'll be looking to the interleague next weekend. That's right, all players will be looking ahead to that as the Cats push forward now. And Arnold, now Sammy, he's not the sharpest kick going around in Cats colours. No, he's not, but I was actually down here uh, on Thursday night watching the seniors train, and he actually kicked a few good goals, so hopefully he might uh, take this one in, his, in, in, in the bag. Oh, man of the mark, about 40 metres out. He's the wrong side for a right footer. This is to bring the margin back to 15 points. He goes up. I tell you what, Sammy. Oh, I oh. It. Oh. Never doubt the man. <laughs> well, I never did, but I was just <laughs> curious of his kicking action. It's now back to 15 points here on Highlands FM. 7 9 51 to 9 12 66. He's getting a lot of high fives, fellas. Oh, and deservedly so with that great kick at the five minute mark of this term back to 15 points we've got a game uh, Arnold's a very famous name within the Melbourne Football Club uh, one of the good fullbacks uh, represented Victoria Lance Ar Arnold and a uh, very good player and uh, people who followed that the, uh, the name Arnold does mean something to them well it means something here today it means that the Tigers are back and they've got some moments and now is Clough 60 metres out from goal he spots up his captain the Cats fans are going nuts here on the, the social room's wing. And he, if he puts this through, this will be the closest they would have been for a long stretch. Yes, they're making a late run, Macedon fellas. Well, uh, this is for back-to-back -back goals. Right, 35 metres out from goal. Yeah, no. Drifting away. Oh. Well, that's there's a bit of hope. Back to 14 points. They're not out of this at all. Let's go, Right, one goal, two on the board today. Let's see where we're at at the 10-minute mark, Chris. Well, yeah, that's right. Give us uh, perhaps another four more minutes. Kick there from Bowden up towards half back. Just over the head of Grabak, who went up. And Matt Swindles came in to intervene. He sends the ball up towards centre wing here for the Tigers. Yes. And a mark unopposed there was Bullock. Right foot kick over the top. He finds Chris Burkett just inside the boundary. Good play by uh, Lansfield out of the defence. A bit of coast to coast action happening here as Jordan Kindred nudges his man on the ball, shoves it out towards his captain. But Tom Hildebrand take it high. But it'll go back, Sammy, uh, to where the act took place. Yep. Clearly over the head for Tom Hildebrand yes. gets the free. 
But because it happened in the kicking action? No, uh, yes, do. yes, that's, that, that's correct. Thank you, umpires. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, you got imagine some of the listeners around there, they'd be around the ground, they'd be saying, why wasn't that taken up the field? Yeah, well, the kick, actually, if an act is taken as the kick is being taken, it's back to the kicker. It's Hildebrand. He concedes ground. Run his full measure to the exact centimetre. Spots yeah. up Arnold. He wants to play the switch. It means the Messon players have got to get over there and or they make space in the corridor. Well, it's 14 points, a margin 52 to 66, seven gone, final two. There's not much movement from the Masson and players, though. Well, especially given the Tigers do have a man back there in Kindred, but they're not going to worry about that as Flenny. He has the ball in the middle of the ground, sends the ball long, up towards Riley. He's got a couple oh, yes. to contend with, and Morgan takes the mark. Yeah. Defensive 35, but he's got to come around, Sammy. I think. Uh, what ha I actually didn't see what happened then, unfortunately. Yes. Uh, there was a mark taken, and yet he's got to... He's, he's been brought back to kick over the mark. He's got to come back right over his line. That is correct, yep, sorry. That, that is correct. As Bowden takes a mark, defensive 15, has a bounce here for the Tigers. They kick into the right of it, dial the township end. Up towards uh, his Jordan Kindred. Ball heads out towards the boundary line. Matt Swindles just keeps it in the field of play for the Tigers. Clough here for the, the Cats here across half back. Yes. Right foot kick. Well played, Josh Clough. Well played. Arnold, the goal kicker from before. Sammy said he was dropping them in pretty easily the other night. His form is fantastic. As Christensen, he takes on a couple, just loops the ball over <coughs> as uh, Preston had to come, come from behind. The spoil was probably good, although it heads out towards Malone there for the Tigers. And a left foot kick along the boundary line. They might be in business here, the Tigers. Here they are now through Matt Burkett. Left foot kick up towards Thompson. Oh, yes. good work. Yes, it was. Yes, uh, well delivered by uh, Mac Burkett. Uh, it, down to the forward line with a one-on-one -on -one and uh, leading forward and a good chest mark. He's had a good day, uh, Thompson, hasn't he? He certainly has good forward presence. He kicked three today. And it, 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 you, you just said, took the words right out of my mouth. He's got that strength and around the forward line. It's been a great help to the Lanceville forwards. Well, they kicked four goals last week in the win over the Hawks. He's the sort of player that uh, can split packs open and that gives the opportunity to the other players around. Andy Bowler for Romsey in the Mac Cup as well as Thompson never looked like going through minus score. And we've just ticked on Dougie nine minutes. Uh, so it's, it's uh, a useful lead at this stage. Here on Hines FM rocking the Rangers footy. And the RDF and L as the Cats across half back. Right foot kick over the top to Christensen, quick around the grounds in the AFL. The Demons 12-6-78 lead. Richmond 8-17-65 by 13 points. 14 gone, final two. I think a lot of Richmond supporters would be quite surprised. Oh, the Ds, they're up and about. Very, very good team as, uh, mm. as Fleming. He's done some good things in this final term already. Yes, just they're trying to play possession football to get out of defence, and that means the Masson players have got to line up further down to give uh, get the opportunity. And getting it out of defence. Kernan marks defensive 65 down the corridor here for the Cats. Actually still at their half back line, even though there's been about four possessions. Would that be right? Yep, four marks. Yep, there's not a lot of movement happening Ooh, still. And now that's that's a kick a in hope. Yes, and that is. And uh, one wonders about what opportunities were being given to him by the Massenham players up at the half forward line. Well, Rebecca came back and took the mark. He spots up. It's a turnover, a costly turnover when they were, um, you know, what are they? 15 points down. Yep. Yep, 67 to 52. At the 10 minute mark. Of this final term here on Highlands FM, ball up to Chris Collins, the captain here for the Tigers. He spots up a teammate there in Bullock. Right foot kick. Good work there from yes. Fleming. Yes, it was. Well covered. Well, well smothered. If, they're cats, if you're a Cats supporter, <coughs> hopefully you can draw some inspiration from that. As we see another boundary throw in about 35 to 40 metres out from goal. As the margin continues to grow at the QEO, it's Sandhurst 12, 16, 88, leading Gisborne 2, 4, 16. In the third team over there is the Tigers pump the ball forward from Chris Collins. And Clough takes the mark, defensive 25. He looks to switch across the outer side, but Sammy, he's got nothing on the other uh, Cats uh, player out there. I think it's Burgess, has to go up the corridor to Sanders, couldn't, yes he took the mark. And uh, right in front of us guys, Kernan and Kindred are going at it. And I bet they're two mates from, uh, from years gone by, it is on for young and old. 
between the two as umpire Damien Stead coming in to sort it out. S meanwhile, Sanders there for the catch, sends the ball up towards centre wing. Bit of frustrations here in this tight contest. Targets by 15 points, holding the ball. Catch it, go and take the advantage. They do, Miles, Clough, he is running himself out of trouble. Runs himself out of trouble. It's on the 450, Arnold, oh, yes. Oh. And a good clean hand, so well done, Nick Arnold. Hands out in front, excellent. Not looking, he could have been tempted to just take it on the chest. He took the hands out in front, and of course, taking it out, the hands out in front, makes it harder for the defensive, defender to uh, knock the ball away. Well done, Nick Arnold. Well, he's a backman turned attacker. And Arnold, the man on the mark, about 40 metres out from goal to bring the margin back to nine points. His last kick was difficult. This kick's a bit easier. Question of accuracy. He hasn't got it. Just drifting away. Well, it's down on their forward line. They've got to keep it down there. Well, 13 minutes gone here, final term. So that's uh, that's not appetising at all. Lancefield running it out of the defence. Through Fulton. Has a bounce, has multiple bounces. Does it with a little bit too easy. A casual Saturday afternoon stroll here on Highlands FM. That's what he was thinking about. As, as Matt Burkett, left foot kick inside the forward 50 for the Tigers. Almost a bit of coast to coast action here if they can still maintain possession. And they will. Matt Burkett Bill picked up well. That is oh, a finisher. Fantastic. Great work there from Fulton across half back. Poor man marking there from the Cats. That might just be the one that ends the contest here at the Tony Clark. Wow. That was uh, good football. And how's the running there from Burkhead across the outer side? That Excellent. is just a treat. And when the ball came out of the pack, he kept running down the ground. And when the ball came out of the pack, he picked it up cleanly and onto his boot and uh, right through the high diddle diddle uh, from about uh, 30 metres out. Well, uh, how, how would the Cats be feeling at the moment, Sammy? That it's uh, a bit oh. despondent at the moment? I mean, it would be hurting them, but at least they're not uh, getting smashed like the, they did last week. So uh, hopefully they can come back with the win. I think it's... Uh, how many goals are they down? Maybe? They're, they're down by 20 points. 14 goal final term. And we have a ball up. This is a, just a good, hard fashion slog between two developing sides, to say the least, as Sykes brings the ball down. Collins, he's wrapped up there by Miles. Ball heads out towards centre wing. It's kicked out of there by Bullock there for the Tigers. Out towards the sunshine for the first time this afternoon. We'll see a boundary throw in. Quick around the grounds in the RDFNL. We thought last week was scary, guys. Romsey, 27, 15, 177 lead. Kilmore, 4, 4, 28 by 149 points. Still time for another three or four more goals. Yes, there's uh, quite a few problems there for the clubs in the Riddle District Football Neutral League along the Hume Highway. And, of course, a lot of the players are being recruited. Uh, the, the people living around on the highway are being recruited by Seymour and up there at Aven Avenue and so on. There are a few, a few issues there along the Hume Highway. And uh, you can do as much as you can with sponsorship and getting players from other clubs and so on. But uh, it is a, a, an issue for uh, the Riddle District Football Neutral League uh, uh, Hume Highway clubs. Boy, out on the outer side. Free kick to the Cats in front of the scoreboard. 20 points a margin here. We've just ticked on 15 minutes. The Cats need the next goal. Within the next two minutes, you'd think there'd be half a sniff. And they won't get it as Catton steps in away. Yes, he stepped into the hole. Well, cut it off, didn't he? Up towards centre-half forward. Thompson for Newark. Yes! Strong mark. Bit body of a, body. Bit of bumper car action. <laughs> yes. Uh, Commit the sandwich there. Took a strong mark. And he kicked the goal from identical position in the uh, the first term. I think, oh, sorry, in the in the sec second or third term. Either way, this is a very commendable effort by Lansfield uh, after their 99-point uh, defeat against uh, Diggers Rest, and uh, they've come b come back well, haven't they? Well, they will win and today, not, and not having their under-18 side as well. Yes. Hopefully, it's a bit of a, an ad advertisement to try and get a few more youngsters into the team next year. As Kernan across a bit of back pocket there for all the Cats. As Swindles of the Matt Variety working hard again at half forward here. The Tigers, they have had a day to remember so far as Collins inside the forward 50. Player falls over there, might have been Bullock. Catton's wrapped up yeah. straight away. Good we'll decision, Bullock. umpire. Good decision. It's 10, 13, 73 to 7, 11, 53, 17 minutes gone, final term. Rucks go up, Thompson brings it to ground. Ball heads out towards the boundary line there and on the outer side. 
and Arnold will see it out of bounds 50 metres out from goal. As uh, Quebec comes off the ground, just uh, wincing there, a bit of, bit of a knock there on his uh, taped up shoulder. There have been a couple of times today where uh, Lancefield's pace has worried Macedon. It depends on who those players are, but uh, they've, uh, they've got a bit of, those players with a bit of pace have worried. Yes, that's uh, right, yeah. Worried uh, Macedon a bit today. Ball heads out towards the boundary line, out of sight, 50 metres out from goal. Pack forms again, and we'll see another ball up quick around the grounds. Rupo, 10, 12, 72, lead Warren, 7, 7, 49. Riddle, 61 points ahead of Broadford. So, Broadford have worked their way back into the contest. Good. Stop, stem the bleeding. Yeah, yes. I think it was one stage they were up by, Riddle were up by six goals in the first quarter, looking to go on to a big win. Not forthcoming here, there. As Arnold out there on the outer side trying to do it at both ends. But instead, I think that was Matt Burkett. He just threw it onto the boot for a minor score for a 21-point lead for the Tigers at the 18-minute mark of the term. After the uh, uh, Victorian uh, WorkSafe uh, Country Championships uh, next Saturday, I noticed that uh, Macedon have uh, got uh, Melton Central's over at uh, with Melton, uh, Melton Central's home game, and uh, then they've got uh, Rupertwood here at home. So they've got a couple of hard games coming up yes. at Macedon. Well, it could be season over in the next couple of weeks if they don't put on a spirited effort as the ball heads out towards centre wing. We've got a ball up. Unfortunately, we don't have a score over at, uh, over at uh, GGO at this stage. The score hasn't been updated for quite some time. Okay. At that stage, we're in with 46 to 18. As uh, the goals continue to flow over at Digger's Rest, as the, uh, the pressure continues here with a free kick to the Tigers on centre wing out of sight. I think Grant Symes has uh, worked hard at the uh, the big man jewels. He's given uh, all he can. Been one of the best big Higginbotham. Best big man on the ground. Ball out 25 metres out from the Tigers goal. Crispin run, uh, wrapped up again. We will see a ball up 25 metres out from goal. 21 points to margin. 74 to 53 in favour of the Tigers. They are getting excited. The supporters. As another ball up will eventuate from the, the same spot. So players just going through the motions here, 19 minutes gone, final turn. Yes, yeah, a bit hard to pick up 19 points at this stage of the game, or to get the 20 points to get one point in front. There's a ball that heads out of bounds on the full, free kick to the Cats. Well, if they're wanting to give themselves any hope, they've got to play some risky footy. And they're not going to because they're playing possession footy just stop start and that involves in turnovers as uh, I think that's Clough out there on the outer side defensive 50 to Kernan and uh, that's the story of the day yes yes, yes just Clough it was cut off before the ball got to him and Fanua spots up Collins about 35 out directly in front and uh, Sammy I'd love, love to see his stat the amount of times that Tommy Hildebrand for the Cats has been the man on the mark for a shot at goal. I reckon he'd be up to a record. I've counted at least three. There's probably five or six other occasions, but he seems to be there on the spot. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's playing good football. He just can't seem to uh, stop the uh, the older players. Well, the Tigers rejoice as they kick away to an match winning lead here on the Highlands FM. It's 11 14 80 to 7 3 53 27 points a margin 21 minutes gone final term yeah, i think chris collins uh, becomes the second multiple goal kicker for lancefield would that be right yep. Lyndon thompson has three and uh, chris collins has two and then matty bowden jack waldron lee lug matt burkett scotty swindles jordan kindred and uh, john morgan won a piece oh we, and we've also got a prestigious award dougie hanging up on highlands fm player of the day We've got some tough contenders. Yes, there are, and uh, there's uh, I, uh, you know, it's a bit of decision making again. Hey? A few challenges for us. Scary to uh, to pick it at this stage. As Sykes wins it down to Crispin, he's wrapped up straight away. Collins, here's a chance. Clough oh. kick partially smelling there by uh, Crispin under the pack again, trying to get the ball out. That's he's exactly. a terrier, isn't he? It's in his yeah. back. Yep. And a free kick. Yeah. We we'll go to the Cats. To Crispin, 
The Iron Man. He is an inspiration to the Massenham players, or should be. Mr. Gerrible spots up well Preston. Done. Well done. Good lead, Preston. He's and it's play on, it's hit the deck, hit but the deck ball. all the way down. Yes. So the cricket umpire would have to say not out. Was that yeah, the right? I, uh, that to me looked like a mark. It looked like looked a mark. Like clear mark. He had his eye on the ball, didn't yeah. Yeah, had it in his hands and rolled. So I would have paid a mark for that. Yes. It, looked, it looked like it. From, and uh, and uh, when the ball, the umpire deemed the ball touched the ground. Oh. You see on the replay, it wouldn't have <laughs> just, just have a look at it. Yep. It's a bit of a push and a shove and a free kick will go to the Cats. Well, this isn't needed at this stage of the game and good to see for the Tigers. Chris Collins has gone in there just to say to his teammates, settle down. Ball up towards centre half forward here for the Cats. Bowden gets it away. He sends the old fashioned barrel up from centre half forward to centre half forward at the other end. Fleming here for the Cats. So he intervenes back to oh, Elder Trouble Fred. here. Needs support. And he didn't get the handball away. Play on advantage now as Matt Swindles. He can jog. He can come to a standing start. Bang! Biggest margin of the day. Big, a big win here for the Tigers. Look out. 12 14, 86 to 7 11, a 53 33 point lead. Yes, well, of course, uh, I think the coach will be saying, come on, you're playing well, fellas, keep at it, and uh, every goal you get and uh, what you can prevent uh, your opponent from getting from, uh, you're, you're building up your percentage, and uh, Lansfield need as much percentage as they can get because uh, their percentage is only about 73%, and when you get uh, down to the final six, it's going to be very important. Well, speaking of percentage, Rumsey's percentage would increase by plenty. They are 29, 15, 189 to Kilmore, 4, 4, 28. They are 106, yeah, 161 points up against Kilmore on OKRFM. Over there, as Seth for the Cats head at half forward, he turns it over. Bowden, no power opportunity, said the umpire. Play no on. Power opportunity. Mm -hmm. As Crispin oh, again. Crispin again, terrific effort. In the back. No, it's cool. That just rolled over. Yes, uh, Massenham got it out of the midfield very well then, but again it got to the half forward line and it just, just can't break through that half forward yeah, line. Yeah, that's right. For those tuning in today, join us from 11.30am next Saturday afternoon as we have all the interleague action, under 18s and uh, the seniors live ball by ball as right here for the Cats, pulls it away to the left. But of course, we're covering two big games, Douglas. It's going to be enormous. Yes, the Elberton Football League are coming over to uh, the Massenham Rangers. They'll be uh, their under-18s uh, netballers and footballers, and then the seniors uh, netballers and footballers at Romsey Park next uh, Saturday, the 24th of May. And oh, we'll be on air from at least 11.30, and it could be, yep. as far as the program team, it could be from 11 o'clock. So uh, we we'll are listening 11. to 100.7 Highlands FM. 11.30 would be ideal, and of course, you'll know more about the Elberton League than you ever. That's just what you'll get. You'll get every angle covered from umpires to coaches to presidents, the works, the whole shebang. Yes. And remember, that if uh, you want to get across the interleague, uh, get across the AFL site and uh, you can get the across the AFL, uh, the, the ECFL uh, uh, interleague uh, tournaments and what the, uh, the scores are. But we'll be doing our bit as well on Highlands FM 100.7. Chris, the game is uh, concluded. Johnny, the scores are? Scores are Macedon 7-12-54 to Lansfield 12-14-86. Well, it's been a convincing second half by Lansfield. It has, yes. They, they come out uh, third quarter, owned the third quarter, and just continue it right through to the uh, end of the sign in the uh, last quarter. And what were some of the major elements you think that's the reason for that occurring? Um, Lansfield had short, quick, uh, 